Hi everyone, so we've got another windsurf at home video and because we're going to be training in places like our house, our lounge, maybe our garden, we might not have enough room. So I'm going to show you how to make a rope rig or a ghost rig using some simple parts that you hopefully all have. Okay, so we If you're going to use your rope rig inside, try and make sure that the mast or the extension are not too long, otherwise it won't fit. You need your mast and you're going to need the rope. What you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot in the end of a the rope. There you go, one knot. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot called a lark's head. So if you loop it over, just like so. Easy. This is going to go over the top. And it sits on here. As you pull it, it should tighten. But because this little knot is there, it won't pull through. Now what we're going to do is we put the extension in the mast. And we need to get the boom for right height. We want roughly about shoulder height boom for our simulator. Okay, so I can either measure it on my shoulder like so. Another way we can measure is to put your fingers at the end of the extension, hold it to your arms and your shoulders, and it should be roughly to the elbow. This gets it kind of in the right area. Next, we want to put the boom at 90 degrees to the mast. On the rope, we tie a loop roughly in line with the clue there, something that we can pass this through. You can see I've passed the uh, out hall of the boom through the loop I've just made, and it's at 90 degrees to the mast there. So, now we're just going to tighten that up, there you go, hopefully it won't slip, so I'm just going to tie that off there, and with this loose end, we need to attach to the extension. Now, I want to put tension in this rig like I would do a normal sail. To do that, I need to tie another loop maybe 30 or 40 centimeters away from the extension. So roughly about there. I've tied a loop in the end of the rope here. So now to pass my downhaul through the loop I've made. Just like we would do with a normal sail, we want to put tension into our simulator. And here we go. The tension will make sure that the simulator doesn't fall apart. And hopefully it will feel better because of it. Cool. Let's have a look, see how it looks. Okay. Now, as I've tightened this up, you can see that the boom has dropped. That might be okay. I'm expecting that to happen. The angle changes. It's not at 90 degrees 
to the mast anymore and we do want that but we don't want it to happen too much so I'm just going to check it and then if I need to make some changes we can do that. Okay so I'm just testing you can see the boom is too low it's at too much of an angle I need to fix this I'm going to adjust the knot on this rope on the end and I'm going to bring it up slightly and this should raise the boom. So I've adjusted the height of the boom, adjusted the knot on the end and now the boom looks the right height, the right angle, I'm happy with that and I'm ready to do some training. I've made a rope or ghost rig, here it is on the board, I'm now ready to practice. Luckily it's short enough, I even think this will work in my house.